Hello everybody. I'm back. At least for now, I'm back. I have something exciting and fun happening in my life. I'm so ready. I'm going back to Disney World. Ah! So, I haven't been vlogging. Um, like I said in my last video, like I just was going through a lot personally and I didn't know when the next time like I would be able to kind of like put this back into my life and everything so truth be told I finally have something interesting happening in my life so I'm going to vlog you um, our trip back to Disney World after the shutdown um, I am currently packing and getting ready and tonight we are actually driving down after Adam gets off work, we are driving down and we're gonna stay at the Pop Century Resort. We snagged a last minute room reservation. And um, and then Friday, we are going to Magic Kingdom. I'm so excited, guys. I can't wait to get, like, Dole Whip. Dole Whip! Ah! Okay, we are here at the Pop Century and I am obsessed. Every time I come into one of these rooms, this is my favorite part. It's just like so modern, even though this is the 60s room, which is kind of funny because it doesn't make sense, <laughs> but it's fine. Anyway, I love the Pop Century rooms ever since they redid them because the TVs got upgraded and then um, they have the USB things like literally everywhere. I have it over by the beds. And then this bathroom is pretty cool. Adam said this is a wet room because the shower can literally go everywhere. But I like it because I'm not going to feel claustrophobic in the bathroom or in the shower. So 10 out of 10 for me. Good morning. It's probably not the morning when you're watching this now that I'm thinking about it. Now it's morning for us. Okay, so we came down, got breakfast. It was really interesting actually how they had it. We had the mobile order, and then as soon as you walk in, they had, you don't even have any lines to go get your food. It's in a paper bag, with your name on it, on like this um, island. And then like the cast members have to give you your food. And so, we are eating out of little to-go boxes. It's a little different but it's still Disney. We still have Mickey waffles. There was a weird way like how to order because like I wanted eggs and I wanted Mickey waffles and I wanted bacon, but they only had particular like plates that you can order. And normally when I'm at the resort, I can just say, hey, can you just add extra waffles or add a side of sub for a side of eggs instead of potatoes? But you have that you don't have that option when you mobile order, so we just ordered three meals and shared it that way so that we could get everything that we wanted. Yeah. Please two one in line so you can have your temperature check, please. Face mask vending machine. Oh my gosh, face mask vending machine.
Okay, so we have a memorable moment today because since Splash Mountain is getting refurbished and rechanged to Princess and the Frog, it is my favorite mountain, so I wanted to have at least one last ride. So, it is a 10 minute wait right now, which is insane. I can't remember ever seeing a 10 minute wait for Splash Mountain. And this guy hates these kind of rides, but he's doing it for me, which is awesome. <laughs> so, we'll see how it goes, but I'm really excited. You got this, baby. Oh. I believe in you. She does need it. I don't. Oh, hello down there. Hello. Lovely <laughs> to see me. Yes, it is. Do you like my singing voice? It's beautiful. I know, they didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't like it. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. They didn't. No. They didn't. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey. Here is the hand washing station. Here's just an example of what they're doing. So you just push on this thing, and then the water comes out, and you can wash your hands. Okay, so we're like about halfway, not even, it's only 1.30 and we've already done probably everything that, we want. everything that we would do on like a full day, we've pretty much already done. We've, we rode Splash Mountain, I rode the Mine Train, that was only a 10 minute wait, or 20 minute wait. Pirates. Pirates. Let me get focused. Um, we Little did, Mermaid. We did Pirates, broke down. Little Mermaid. Our Again. roommate broke down, it always breaks down every time I come with him. <laughs> so um, he hasn't rode it once without it breaking down. Never. Never. Um, and then, let's see what else did we ride? Oh, Buzz Lightyear. We did Buzz Lightyear. And Country Bear Jamboree Country, show. Yep. And literally everything we've done has like been able to just walk right on. changed my mask three times I brought spares with me because it does get so hot under the mask you start sweating under your mask and then truthfully it starts to smell pretty bad um, and I took my white one off and it was really really dirty and I just took like I brought like a backup shirt and I just got it wet with a water bottle and just wiped my face because it's just so sweaty underneath the mask plus the glasses and I had uh, hat on. I had to buy a new hat. I kind of had a feeling this was going to happen anyway, but I bought this hat because it is like more of a dry fit, um, absorbs the heat a little bit better um, because my canvas hat, I just get so overheated. 
my head's not breathing, but I have to cover my eyebrows because of the microblading. So, um, luckily it's my last day that I have to do that today. We survived. We did it. We survived our first trip back to Disney after the closures in July wearing face masks we and, did it. and hats and sunglasses. And guys, I'm just going to repeat some of the stuff I said earlier because I don't know which clips I'm going to be able to actually use because of copyright and everything. But um, just, just a quick rundown. Um, it does get hot under the masks. Like, the breathing is actually not that bad. We had a good breeze most of the day. Like, there was only a few seldom times where we were like, okay, it's hot right here, we need to move. Like, there's too much sun hitting this spot. But like, for the most part, the breeze was okay. I could breathe okay. Adam could breathe okay, as far as I know. Were you okay? Yeah. Okay. And I he, mean, yeah. You know, he has his situation. Comparatively. Yes. If those of you that don't know, my husband, has one lung so you can live with one lung just so you know found that out yeah found that out the hard way but it's okay he did it and he survived and i'm proud of him but turkeys tur wild turkeys wild turkeys <laughs> oh my god disney that was so random at the ticket center <laughs> anyway so um i will say though bring extra masks because I went through three masks. So um, I did want to get one of the Disney masks, but I got a medium thinking that that would be good because I have a fairly small face. No, it was way too tight around my ears. Like it was actually perfect around this part of my face, but the ears was, they were way too tight. So I had to turn around, go back and get a large. Uh, I had already put it on so I couldn't like return it or anything. So, um, and then because, oh, because we went on Splash Mountain and I had to change my mask because it got soaked and it was starting to give me like a little rash feeling. Um, and then, as far as it, like the crowds were awesome. Um, since they're limiting the amount of people to go in per day, per park, it's actually better in a sense. Um, like, it's kind of funny because it's kind of funny because we would notice like the same people like throughout the whole day because that's how little people there were there's not even a tram running um everybody just parks in one area like that well two areas in a sense the first yeah yeah the first hero and the first first hero lot. and the first villain lot so two lots worth of cars and the cars are social distance like it has to be every other um spot so that's just showing how little it was of people and like the lines were like nothing the highest line I saw wait time was 20 minutes and that was for mine train yeah
guess. So, I say it's worth it. Like, I mean, obviously you know the risk, but like they did really good. I saw cast members cleaning everywhere. Um, they made sure they cleaned the tables. Like there was one table, it was, we went to, to get lunch and it was kind of hard to find a spot that was like not taken. And then they were like, the rest of the uh, tables were kind of dirty. Um, but I mean, as soon as the cast member saw us kind of looking around, she was like, oh, so sorry. And she started cleaning them for us. So like, they've stayed really like well on top of it. There was a couple, like Adam just had like his nose showing occasionally to get catch a breath and cast members were on it like, hey, can you please put your mask all the way on? Um, and I didn't run out of battery. <laughs> so, praise the, Lord. praise the Lord. Hopefully I can get through the end of this vlog. So, I just wanted to, I think that's it. Did we cover everything? Yes. Yeah. Splash Mountain's merch is like gone. Yeah. Yeah. And they don't know when it's going to restock. It could be every day. It could be every week. Yeah. People it's are carrying crazy bags. Like, what time did we ride it? Out. We probably rode it at like 11. No. No, earlier? No, we rode it at like 10. 10. And the park opened at 9. Yes. And they were sold out, and there was a virtual queue. There was queue. a virtual queue when we got out. And I, at the time, I was like, I don't. Like, it was wrap, almost wrapping around that like entrance area. And I was like, well, that's. That, I don't feel like waiting in that. We just got there. So, like, standing in a line was like not what I really wanted to do. I wanted to go explore. So, um, when we came back around, because we probably walked Magic Kingdom like three times, three, four times fully. It was insane. Everything but tomorrow. Everything but tomorrow. We only went there once. But, like, um, what was I going to say? Um, we went into the Splash Mountain gift shop later when there was no line <laughs> because they were sold out. <laughs> there was no line. That's why there was no line. But I did get a pin, so at least there's that. They All they had left were pins and these hoodies. And, they and were park cute. pals. And park pals for like babies. But the, the hoodies, oh. Um, the hoodies were cute, but not really my jam, so. And we ate at the Be Our Guest restaurant. That was nice. We tried the gray stuff. We tried the gray stuff. It was delicious. It was. And the beast did it. The beast came out. Normally you could take a picture with the beast. Like when you either are leaving or coming in for Be Our Guest. But um, he just came out. He socially out. distanced. He socially distanced. Like they entered, we, we ate in the West Wing area and he came out to the ballroom. And um, in the ballroom, you know, he was walking around and everything. But we couldn't see him from where we were. Um, and he would come in to like the entrance way of the gray, uh, the gray stuff. <laughs> of, of the, the west wing. Of the west wing. And he just would like bow a few times and like people would be clapping. But like, that was it and then he would leave. It was like 30 seconds. So I was a little sad about that. But I also I understand, gotta keep the characters safe. I did like how they had like all the characters like up on the top of buildings and then they had like smaller parades. But the parades are funny because they're like mixed. Mixed characters. Mixed characters. You're like Winnie the Pooh with Peter Pan with Aladdin. And <laughs> like, Alice. And, Alice. and Mary Poppins. Yeah. And I, mean, Tigger. It's, I mean, we're all, they're all friends, Disney friends, you know? But at the same time, it's just funny because they're not like with their normal like element, I guess. Like yeah. normally they all have their own little like float. And there were only really, there were really only two parades. Yeah. And they're not even really parades. Yeah. It's like they do the, um, it's like five minute excursions. The little dance party, put your ears on, dance song. Um, like all day, <laughs> they do that joke all day. Um, and then, so I think it's, it was like twice a day, twice throughout the day that they did the um, princesses came out. But it's like one float, Merida comes out on her horse, like a queen, and then the rest of the girls so are- Gaston did come out in another parade. Oh yeah, Gaston. Gaston came out on a horse, the horse is pretty. So I kind of liked that because that was like a different, like those are two characters that you really don't see a ton of. So it was really cool to see Merida and Gaston. But anyway, I'll stop rambling at this point, but it felt good to be back at Disney. I'm excited for our future trips. It, it wasn't as bad as it, you know, what I thought it was gonna be. Some people are still like not paying attention to like social distancing. Like we, we were, oh, we were in line for Peter Pan. And <laughs> and the cast member was like, is it four? And we were like, what? And we looked behind us and these two people were like right up on my back. And I was like, no. 
notes too. She was like, okay. <laughs> like, yeah. So not everybody is like, like I just don't think they're like have that mental mindset yet for social distancing. I think I was already kind of like that before this all happened anyway. So like I already didn't like being all up Huge on terrible. people. Shut up. I already didn't like being all up in other people's space anyway. So it's really not that much different for me. I kinda like it, to be honest. But anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. It felt good being back. And I hope to see you again in some more Disney vlogs later. And I'll see you real soon.